the big story tonight, the Keystone XL pipeline. Today, the controversy made its way to the Nebraska Supreme Court, where justices will make a decision that could stop the oil line in its tracks. Senior reporter Jake Wazikowski joins us live in studio with details. Jake. Craig, the legislator gave Governor Dave Heineman the power in 2012 to approve the route through Nebraska, but those opposed say the governor shouldn't have been given the right to do that. So largely this is about site location. The state's highest court heard arguments on one of the country's most heated topics. Local landowners have been fighting construction of the Keystone XL pipeline for nearly six years. Opponents and landowners don't want the route to go through the Sand Hills and Ogallala Aquifer and believe the Public Service Commission, not the governor, should have had the final say on the line's route through Nebraska. I'm very proud of, of the Sand Hills people that, that started this fight and kept it really going strong. We work our butts off really hard up there. And for our own governor and, and our attorney general to turn on us like they did. Today, justices heard arguments about whether the Nebraska Constitution allows the governor to make the decision and let Keystone XL take land through eminent domain. No private company comes in here and pushes our citizens around by telling them stories, making threats. The attorney general's office and proponents say Heineman and the unicameral did have that constitutional right, and a decision against them only delays the process. The Consumer Energy Alliance believes if TransCanada is forced to go through the Public Service Commission, they'll still get approval, but it could take six to nine months. Every day is a delay on this project, is a day where we don't have 700,000 know, barrels of oil from the U.S. and Canadian uh, fuel reserves coming down to the United States and creating a $20 billion investment in the U.S. economy. It's unclear when the state Supreme Court will issue its ruling, but justices were very engaged during the half-hour hearing. The Obama administration is in part waiting on this decision before deciding to approve Keystone XL, but it looks like that decision will not come until after the midterm elections. Reporting live in the News Center, Jake Wasikowski, KMTV Action 3 News. And as we've been doing, we will stand by. Thank you, Jake.